Shalom, real quick, giving all praise to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Um, and I'm going to do this video, and I'm going to entitle this video, uh, U.S. Railroad Unions to Strike come Friday, this Friday. It was today is Tuesday, the 13th. It was at the 16th, right? The 16th. If they don't come to an agreement, they're gonna strike, and you're really gonna you you're really gonna hurt you Americans. It says here pressure mount, mounts on U.S. railroads unions to reach a deal. It says Susan Clerk, the head of the the U. I guess that's the United States Chamber, be a U.S., supposed to be a U.S., U.S. Chamber of Commerce, said Monday that a national rail strike would be an economic disaster. Forget about the trucks. The trucks can't deliver. The trucks, what happens is the, the rail system goes from the west of this country to the east of this country, up and down the south and the north. And uh, they go to various states and then you have uh, the 18 wheelers that pick up, well, they have distribute, distribution centers, distributors, and you have trucks that deliver to stores, markets and so forth, supermarkets. So this would devastate the, uh, you, you're going to definitely have the uh, food shortages. And that's the main thing. People, th people ain't talking about buying clothes and shoes and all that. It's furniture necessarily. They can live with they, with they, with they, with what they have. But you need food to sustain life, the life for your life and your, and your family's lives. You need food. You need water. Oh, gas. You need gas. You know, th people are thinking about when is it when you know about their next meal, and um, if this happens, if the, if the president and the, uh, the head of the uh, chamber, U.S. Chamber of Commerce, don't get together and come to an agreement, then this is going to be a not a state strike, but a national strike. It's going to it's going to it's going to hurt the whole country. So you people walking around with your uh, your your proverbial head stuck up your asses, you know, reality is gonna smack you dead in the face. And they're doing this all for a reason. That's to put to push you, push you back to the wall. So for you to become come back into normalcy, normalcy there's a term called normalcy bias. When you look that up, it basically means you live a normal life and you go to this, you need some milk, you go to the store and get milk. But what happens when there's no milk? You're going to freak out and you're going to say, where's the person bringing my milk? That's how you people live. You don't, you don't own farms. You know, a farmer can, don't, don't, doesn't need the outside world. They could be off grid because you got the cattle. You got the vegetation, you know, wheat, corn, fruits, uh, chicken, eggs from the chickens. It, most farmers work with people. They, they know how to build stuff, build barns and houses. So they're pretty much uh, self-sufficient. But you people in the cities, you don't know how to do nothing. So you rely on supermarkets and, you know, different stores, mainly to buy food, you know, buy food, you know, food uh, in the form of, uh, you know, meat, produce, you know, bread, milk, water. And then you, you people don't, 
know what's coming down the pike. It's, it was all planned that way for you to accept the thing that we here at Great Millstone been talking about. So it says here, it says, it says, uh, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce said Monday that a national rail strike, national rail strike, would be an economic disaster, freezing the flow of goods, emptying shelves, shut, shuttering workplaces, and raising prices for families and business alike. I said this is going to be short. 